as the march towards completion continues, items that will support the indoor operation of the store begin to arrive. And of course, everything has to be accounted for. The warehouse loading docks are put to very good use. With many deliveries involved, there's some traffic management required. The presence of these two vehicles suggests that the vehicle lifts for the service area are being installed, even as the delivery traffic builds. It all creates an opportunity for drivers to show off their skills. The arrival of a consignment of insulating tarpaulins is an interesting indication of work lying ahead. A delivery of drywall compound gives a good hint at work going on inside the building. Now and again you can actually catch a glimpse of what's arriving. Setting the outfitting of the building aside, a considerable amount of work continues to prepare the car park and front of store area. Every effort is being made too to extend the area on the north side that will eventually be paved. And at the main store entrance, weatherproofing is underway. The application of weatherproofing membranes is not confined to the entrance. It's happening on the roof, too. Glazed areas are also receiving some minor refinements. Work to bring the car park up to grade and ready for paving continues steadily. Wetting the gravel down improves and increases the compaction achieved. Coming up to date, with most workers absent over the weekend, the car park's in good shape. It looks as if there's concrete to come in these tarped areas, but only time will tell. Note the new facings on the storefront. And there's more of the same going into the southeast corner. There's some evidence of a little more work to be done on the roof, but overall, the site is looking pretty good, and we can expect to see things really take off in the new year. Thanks for watching.